Recently, I went on a tour at the Piedmont Wildlife Center and we did what was called an owl prowl. And we went out at night uh, and walked through the woods and our guide made some owl calls and uh, we listened for owls to call back. And uh, we also got a lot of good information about the different kinds of owls that live in this area. And uh, after doing the, the tour out in the woods, we came back and got to meet some of the owls that the Piedmont Wildlife Center are taking care of because they have a raptor rescue. And so we met a screech owl, a barred owl, and a great horned owl. And it was really cool to see those birds up close. Uh, unfortunately, due to their injuries, they can never be released back into the wild, but um, it gave me the idea to make a, a uh, owl house and donate it to the Piedmont Wildlife Center. And so while talking with them, we decided that I would build one for Screech Owl. And so that's this house here. Obviously this house is considerably bigger than a typical birdhouse. Um, that's because owls are bigger, but uh, Screech Owl is a pretty small owl. So um, as far as owl houses go, this is kind of a small one, but um, I made it completely out of cedar uh, typically people will make it out of pine or plywood just because the size of it, uh, it can be expensive with the wood and you can't always get boards, uh, wide enough for, for this. And in fact, I, I didn't have boards wide enough. I had to glue together some boards to make it this big. I modeled this design off of, uh, the design from a, a Cornell website, All About Birds. Uh, they have a screech owl nest box design that, that you can get the link to in the description. Um, but I modified it slightly to have a hinged door instead of a swiveling door. Uh, and I also uh, made a slightly, a slightly bigger footprint inside just to give the owls a little bit more room. And uh, I, I did follow the whole recommendation, which is four inches tall and three inches wide. And so I like the, I like the design. It looks good and it has a large uh, back on the, that can be mounted to a tree. Also made this house a little taller than the design specs so that it would have a little bit of space at the top to put a trail camera. And I'm hoping, uh, that could get some nice footage uh, of owls nesting. Uh, it's kind of hard to use my typical cameras, which require Wi-Fi, and you know, within a certain distance of some Wi-Fi. And a trail camera can work completely autonomous, uh, although it's a little bit harder to to check the footage, you know, uh, during the nesting, but. Uh, maybe after the season's over, we can get the camera back and see if anything's on it. My plan is to donate this to the Piedmont Wildlife Center soon, and hopefully they can get it up this year and uh, see if some owls will nest in it. Uh, owls tend to nest earlier than other songbirds, so uh, now is really the time to have it up. So hopefully it's not too late.